first ever Q&A with Frederick. <laughs> Hi darling. Yes. I thought that I would just sit down on our bed just answering a bunch of questions for you guys in some comfy clothes while Frederick plays with some toys and he's got some books here. So I thought we would just have a really casual, just easy Q&A. I've also got some, some food here for Frederick so he's just having a little bit of food while he's on the bed. I know that's probably disgusting but it, it makes him happy. So and plus he's been quite sick lately so I'm just making him the happiest he wants to be. But anyway, we are going to get to the questions, aren't we, Baba? You got some food on your lip. We're going to start off with some questions from Twitter and then we're going to go to Facebook and then see if I've got any on Instagram or YouTube. This question comes from Life with Kristen. And she asked, on a scale from 1 to 10, how excited are you for Christmas? I'm pretty excited, let's just be honest. I would say I'm a 9.5. I'm really excited, especially now that we have Frederick. It is even more exciting than it was like previous years. Um, plus, I'm a very Christmassy person. I get all excited about Christmas and going see Christmas lights and all things like that. So, having a child just makes everything a lot more exciting. Samantha Melanie asked us what are our goals and plans for our channel for 2017. So, our plans or goals. Goal for 2017, like the whole year of 2017, I would really like to, I know numbers aren't a thing, but I would really like to get to at least six and a half thousand subscribers next year hopefully more um this year we gained quite a few so i'm hoping we'll at least you know get to six and a half thousand subscribers by the end of next year i don't really have any other plans but just keep on doing what we're doing Austin fitzman ask if we are coming to vidcon australia we haven't really discussed um, as a family going to VidCon. I would personally like to go to VidCon, but I don't think that it is a very good environment for Frederick to be around just because it is a big crowd and we won't really leave him here with family members. I personally would not enjoy that and I know it would be hard on Frederick and our, like me and Jason as parents. So I don't think we'll be going. Underscore M underscore Perry asked us what is our dream job i would really 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 love to be an interior designer that's one thing that i've always been interested in and i would really like to go back to tafe and do a course on interior design but i might give that a few years to just you know look after frederick and everything before i actually decide to do that. Going to my Facebook questions because we've got so many more on Facebook. But I've got a question here from Just Being Still and they asked what is your favourite thing about vlogging as a parent and also your least favourite thing. I think my favourite thing about vlogging as a parent is that we'll always have memories of you know every single week of our lives or like obviously at the moment we do. Um, so I really like that, plus I like capturing moments and milestones of Frederick because I can always look back on them. The thing about vlogging as a parent is that people are very judgmental, especially if they have different views on how you should parent a child. Um, I really don't like that. I see it on very many um, like bigger YouTube families that vlog and they get so so, so much hate from like a lot of people from doing something wrong which isn't wrong everyone parents different and you should let them parent the way they want to parent and that's one thing I hate <laughs> our awesome life asks us what other names did you pick out for Frederick was it hard to pick a name it was extremely hard to pick a name for Frederick I think it's very hard um, to pick a name in general for a child just because you have to realize that that is their name forever 
It was Thomas, Benjamin, and George. Those are the other names that we had for Frederick, but I'm so glad we didn't pick any of those names just because they do not suit him whatsoever. We were very close on naming him Thomas. Very, very, very close. That was the name we were going to name him. But then Frederick just came out of all of the sudden and then we're like, no, we're going to name him Fredomi Poloni asked us, if you won the lottery, lottery, would you continue to vlog? Of course I would. The lottery would not stop my decision on vlogging. I got lottery. I would like to just like give all the money away because I have everything I need and want. I don't need money to make me happy. A plus you daily asked us, what is something that we do not know about you yet? Huh, what is something that they don't know about me yet, Freddie? One thing that you don't know about me yet is that I have lived in one, two, three states in my lifetime and I've lived in more than 19 houses. That is something you don't know about me. Last but not least, I'm going to go to my Instagram questions. Emily92 asked us, who are, our, who are some of our favourite YouTubers? Well, at the moment, I'm only really into family, family vloggers and I'm into fitness like vloggers. Hey Baby is definitely one of my favourites. I really, really, really enjoy them. I really enjoy Me Plus You Daily. I enjoy The Little Tuckets. I enjoy Eric and Lindsay. Who else, Frederick? There are so many people I enjoy. Vlogger Baby, I really like Vlogger Baby now. They're like one of my favourites. Um, the Ingham family, there are so many like vlogger families out there that people don't really know. But I love them so much. As people, I've really been liking Brittany Lesser. She's one of my favourites. I really like Lauren um, Ross. She is amazing. I've watched her since she'd done beauty videos and then she's changed um changed her channel into a fitness like channel and it's amazing and last but not least Kerry Lee asked us how many kids do you want if more when will you have another baby now I wanted to ask answer this question because I really don't this sounds so rude but I really don't like when people ask you this question um I personally would like at least two kids, hopefully three, but it just depends on obviously my body and everything, because um, my body really decides if we're going to have more kids or not. It's not mine and Jason's decision, it's more my body. Um, but we will not be trying for another child until Frederick is at least two and a half. It's just what me and Jason have decided within ourselves that we want to have big gaps in between our children so do not plan on seeing a present pregnancy video anytime soon guys because it, it will not be happening and if it does accidentally happen then it happens accidentally but we are not planning to have another child for at least another two and a half years um well like a year and a half now but anyway but the reason why i do not like this question is because i feel like a lot of people put so much pressure on mums who have recently had a child um, to hurry up and have another child. And I personally don't want to hurry up. I want to enjoy Freddie um, as much as I can with just Frederick and not have another child to worry and look after. So that is why I decided to answer this question is because I personally don't feel like people asking me this question. And lately, a lot of people have been asking me when we are going to have another child and it really, really upsets me because people don't fully understand why we are waiting. Kerry, don't worry, I don't, I'm not angry for you to ask me that question. I just wanted to let everybody know to stop asking me that question because it really gets to me. We hope you all enjoyed this q and I know Frederick was quite a bit antsy. If you did, please give him a big thumbs up. Hopefully you liked all my answers to your questions and we'll see you guys tomorrow with a normal vlog. Bye!